you might notice that I changed my calendar from the coffee morning because I got a I was like inundated with messages saying you might want to change your calendar because your calendar says March still but the truth of the matter is I don't actually realize that calendar's there that's Tim's calendar it's one of these um these things he's had like ever since he's had the house he's always had a calendar there so he insists on getting a calendar every year even though nobody really uses it or looks at it but it's got to be there kind of thing because it's always had a place there but I don't even think that we've got one I never think to change it or anything like that because who looks at a calendar anymore I've got a diary but that's about it um so yeah I completely didn't even realize that it needed changing and everybody was messaging me saying oh please make sure that you change your calendar and I was like okay okay so I've changed it especially for you guys um Wow, so we've got 112 people watching. Thank you so much for joining this evening for this live Q&A. I thought that I would do maybe a Q&A once a month. And the reason being for this is because the last time I did a Q&A, I went over t nearly two hours long I was just gabbing away um, like I do and just chatting to you guys. And I could just talk for Britain and that's probably um, not a good thing for some but I suppose in this job, it is a good thing because I've got to keep talking. So it comes in handy for this line of business, I suppose. Um, so I just thought, right, as you know, we could have rolled on for longer. I just thought that why not do a QA and a like once a month? And um, yeah, so here we are. Um, so thank you so much, everyone that's joined this evening. Big thanks to the moderators that are here and making sure that everything in the chat is running nice and smooth. So thank you to you guys. Um, the first thing I'd like you to do, if you could just hit me the thumbs up, that would be absolutely amazing. And I want you to put in the chat, that's a bit slightly embarrassing that there is a fly flying around my head. Or is it a mozzie? <laughs> Why is there a, is it a mozzie? Why is this in the house? <laughs> that looks great on camera doesn't it um but I must say I did notice when I got out the car there was loads of flies in the air and I've got the window wide open so it's probably not it's coming from the window but I hope that doesn't annoy me where's smidge when you need him because smidge will get that fly um so anyway like I said hit the thumbs up and um let me know um who's in the chat and what you're having to drink and um, so I'm actually on the rosé tonight Go away, fly. <laughs> I'm on the rosé tonight. Um, the reason being is I didn't really want to open up um, a full bottle of red wine when I know that I'm not really going to get a chance to drink it. Because if I open up a bottle of red wine, then um, I know that I'll only have one glass at a push, maybe two. And um, like, there's no way I'd finish a bottle to myself. And um, believe it or not, I couldn't. And I'd probably have the rest in like a couple of days time or something like that. But like, I'm going away um very very soon um so there's no way the bottle's going to get complete so i didn't really want to waste a really nice good bottle of red wine but i did have a mini bottle of rosé and i just thought yeah that'll work lovely so let us know in the chat what you want to drink um don't worry if you're drinking soft drinks it's absolutely fine and don't forget there is a poll in the chat as well um a very very random question but i'm just absolutely intrigued to see what you're all going to say in regards to it obviously this is a q a this evening feel free to ask all the questions you like obviously keep them as clean as you possibly can uh hang on a minute let's um let's catch up with you all so bear with me while i'm scrolling um, Miss Doglover, thank you so much for your super chat. That's much appreciated. Miss Doglover says, hi, it's my birthday on Monday. My birthday wish to be able to chat on Tim's channel. Lol. Seriously, though, I know he's tried and said um, I'm not banned. Yeah. And um, so that's really random because um, we'd been looking into that. And um, I honestly don't know what's happened because he's looked on. He's got like a list of people that are banned. <laughs> and those people are usually like... Um, people that are a bit you know a bit rejected and um we had a look on that list to see if by accident you'd gone into it and you're not there at all but for some reason you can't comment in the chat and I really don't know why and I and we don't really know how we can make it happen because how do you 
you know, usually if someone's blocked, you unblock them and then you're free to go. So I don't really don't know what's happened there, Mr. Dog Lover, to be honest with you. But what I will do is I will um, I'm gonna chat to Tim again and I might try and get him to reach out to He's got like a YouTube manager. So maybe they can look into it. Maybe. Um, I don't know. I don't really know what the YouTube manager's role is as such. I don't know how far they look into things, but I'll ask him if maybe they can have a look because someone's got to know the answer right to that. So it's really, really strange. Um, but thank you so, so much for your super chat. And I appreciate you being in here. And I love the fact that you can comment in my chat as well. So I know it's not Tim's, which is a bit of a shame. Um, but I appreciate you being here all the same. Um, hang on. Who, who else have we got here? Sorry, I'm getting to you all now. Um, We've got Jamie Bennett, who's been a channel member for four months as a super ladder, and says, it's my birthday on Tuesday. If I can have a shout out on my birthday, that would make my day. Um, well, I'll do you a big happy birthday now, Jamie. Uh, the reason being is um, I'm going on holiday and usually I'll try to do the coffee morning on a Monday, but I don't know what the situation is going to be like on holiday. I don't know because um, I don't know if we're going to have like plans and that so I don't know if I could do a coffee morning from the balcony or what I really don't know but either way I will put a coffee morning in place so whether I do maybe I'll do one Saturday morning I don't know and bring it forward because that might be the only time I can do it uh or or find time on the balcony I've got to speak to Tim find out what what our plans are and stuff like that but either way I won't forget you please pm me right where's smidge where's smidge holly is he on the beds? Probably asleep. Right, I need I need to get Smidge to come down here because Smidge. Not gonna do anything. He will. He'll get that fly. He, he will. He will. Smidge. Right. Right, Smidge. There is a fly in this kitchen. And it's the one thing I need Probably you to get. Him up from <laughs> no, he's awake. Um, he needs his exercise anyway. Can you get him for me? Thank you. Just sort of hang around a little bit, yeah, and get him for me because he's getting on my nerves. <laughs> this boy. Um, Leslie Harvey has been a channel member for eight months and says, "Evening, Gabby. Evening to you. Thank you for joining us this evening." Um, Sorry, I think one of some of the channel members that I put um, highlighted comments up, I can't get to. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Here they are. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, I'm not very good at multitasking, so do forgive me. Uh, Christine Parsons has been a channel member for 12 months and says, Evening, Gabby. Hope you are well tonight. I'm really, really good. Um, thank you. Thank you so, so much. Emma Arnold has been a channel member for three months and says, Hi, Gabby. Thanks for the birthday shout out. Um, the wind nearly blew my head off in Magpul. I can believe that. My question is, who is your biggest inspiration? Oh my God, that's a really good question. I don't know if I've ever answered it before because I think that's a real hard one, Emma. Um, hmm. Let me think. I think I need a sip of my wine before I answer that one. Well, hello. I need an office. I need an office. I need an office. I need an office. <laughs> Say hi. Say hi. Um, I gave Bumpy's hair a wash last night and it just went like crazy. I don't know what happened to it. <laughs> it just went like this. Um, so, yeah, what was I saying? My biggest inspiration. So, as far as like singing's concerned, obviously, as a singer, there's always somebody that you look up to, right? And I've always really admired um, Avril Lavigne as a singer. I know that that sounds really bizarre because her sort of singing is not really my style, but it is my style of songs to actually listen to. So I really admire um, her as an artist. And I really admire other, oh, like older singers. Like um, I really admire the Bee Gees because they're so they're so musically gifted and they write songs for people and they can sing incredibly high notes, low notes, you know, and they can play instruments and they, it's just no end to their talents. So they, they were like 
the older generation that really inspire me and then I've got like more sort of my age range and like Avril Lavigne is kind of the girl singer I always looked up to um but I, I tend to look up to people I know this sounds absolutely mad but I was really really scared of getting older like I'm not I'm not too bad now I kind of accepted it but I've always been a little bit like oh my god I'm getting older I'm getting older I'm really really worried you know um how am I gonna like keep my wrinkles at bay how am I gonna keep my hair from turning gray and all, all these things that naturally happen to you I think it's human nature to want to hang on to these things and yeah that's something that I openly admit and I think a lot of people want to try and make the best of what they've got and I've always like panicked about getting older um but like I said it's always as long as I've got like the things that I really wanted in life I'm all right and I can accept getting older but I always look at certain celebrities and I always think well who looks good for their age and I look at people like Cameron Diaz and I look at people like Victoria Beckham I know they've all had like tons and tons of Botox don't get me wrong but I look at them and like Jennifer Aniston and people like that and I think well you know these are people that have got like I don't know 10 years plus on me I'm not Victoria Beckham I think she's like seven eight years on me I don't know but I always look at the older celebrities that look and seem to be living life to the max and think to myself they've they're enjoying life they're embracing it and they're looking good and they look fit and energetic and they're older than me so as long as like um people like that that are older me older than me are still like looking good then that that's my inspiration I look up to people like that who are just like living life to the max and um yeah so it, it depends like in what area we're talking but I know drag that one out and I do apologize um Teresa has been a channel member for 11 months and says not drinking tonight I've got a chest infection are you on antibiotics either way don't drink if you're not feeling very well or even if you're on medication that is a big no-no just enjoy no 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 that's right just <laughs> did he just say no 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 um just enjoy just enjoy um like i don't know um some black currant with water or maybe a bit of soda and or even just have like a nice cup of tea with a sugar in it or something like that and just de-stress and i totally understand but i hope your chest infection gets better soon there's a lot of it going around i hear um casper had been coughing for ages and ages and ages and um yeah we're it's just sort of like getting a little bit better and we're looking into asthma as well at the moment so it's all a little bit eh, don't know what's going on there um leslie harvey um has been a channel member for eight months and says evening gabby how many of you read yours out leslie or is that someone else that said evening gabby i don't know am i going mad um nikki piper is in the chat celebrities can afford good health charlotte says yeah i know i know i know <laughs> i know that but you know there's you never know we might all come in some money and then we can afford good health i don't know but no the thing is though you say celebrities can afford good health they can but i think as long as you're sort of looking after your life and kind of eating the right foods getting the right exercise which there's me dishing out the advice i need to give myself this advice because i'm the world's worst i'm probably the most unfittest person when i'm on stage dancing i am absolutely shattered um but that could be like asleep i don't know because i think running around after a toddler does keep you fit but yeah i am not fit in the slightest i can't run i can't do anything like that and i try to eat healthy but it's really hard with tim because i always try and prepare meals which you need time for that is the problem with trying to cook well you need time but tim tends to go in a different direction with his foods so because he doesn't seem to be he's not a fruit and veg kind of guy maybe the odd bit of fruit if it's there but he's not a vegetable kind of guy so sometimes i think oh you know i'm cooking and it's just for me if holly's out and you know and i'll freeze a bit for fun or stuff like that and then and then you just need time on your side so i do need to give myself some advice but i do try where i can i do try and eat healthy when it's possible um craig thank you so much for your super chat um, hi Gabby, hope you're well. How was your cottage pie? You never said on the coffee morning. I couldn't even remember telling you on the coffee morning that I had a cottage pie. Did I say? Or did I put that up on Instagram? I can't remember. Or was that the previous coffee morning? 
I can make a mean cottage pie, Craig. I really, really can. Like, I'm not bragging here. I know there's not a lot to it. You kind of just like mash some spud, don't you? Do some mince gravy, chop some carrots up, and then just chuck it all in a dish in the... Someone's getting their exercise. <laughs> so, yeah, it's not a lot to it, but I can prepare it nicely. And when it's baked, it is amazing. So, <laughs> yeah, it was good. It is good. And the good thing about that is it's fantastic to freeze as well. So if I make like a massive Pyrex dish full of it, then obviously Tim won't eat my cottage pie. He won't touch it. <laughs> he don't like peas and carrots so he won't have it but it's holly will have it and i'll have it and then i'll freeze loads for bumps and i've got loads prepared in the um freezer so they're great for like you know those emergencies like if you've been traveling and you get home you're like oh my god we've got no food in i really don't want to go to tesco's or anything like that it is like ah huh, i do have some frozen cottage pies so you know this is probably just standard stuff that normal people do but i've only just started doing it since i've been you know at home with the baby because before i was always working six days a week all day every day so this was never i never really had time to cook thorough food or freeze stuff i never had time for that i'd come in from work it would be like pushing seven o'clock and i just need something quick and easy i'd get one and a half days off a week and i'd go singing so <laughs> so you know it's um it's only something I've recently started to discover because my mum and dad really do take the mickey and go, oh, it's nice that you've only just started to learn how to bake and cook at your age. But honestly, it is time consuming and that is the problem with it. It is time consuming. Um, is a cottage pie like a shepherd's pie? Yes, and I only just, uh, I don't know why I never knew this sooner, but like a cottage pie is when you use mints but a shepherd's pie is when you use lamb mince and i didn't know that till holly told me and i don't even know how you found that out how did you know that mel did mel tell you that one her i think so yeah so her her mother-in-law to be um told her that and i didn't even know but then it doesn't really take much working out does it but it's just something i'd never really give a thought to either so yeah that's basically it um people are saying hi to you holly um Miss Dog Lover says cottage pie is beef, shepherd's pie is lamb. Yeah, that's correct. Sponker Donk says hair's looking so shiny and healthy. Oh, thank you. Um, I've decided now though with, with my hair and that, I'm just literally washing it every other night um, unless I've got a gig and then I'll have to wash it like double. But I'm using like a Pantene shampoo and conditioner at the moment. It's um, oh, it's like a... like a. It's like the brand new one in, it's in like black and white bottles. So the conditioner's in a white bottle and it's got like, oh, I can't even remember what it's got in it. But anyway, it's brand new and I'm using that and that is brilliant. And because I had highlights in my hair, which I've gone over with another dye at the moment, but because I had highlights in my hair, my hair was drying out a little bit and I was using like a deep conditioner like once or twice a week. And my hair feels worse when I'm using the deep conditioner than when I use this Pantene. So definitely go and grab yourself some, um, but try and get it when it's on offer. Um, Michael John Dennis says, I'm so lazy. I just buy ready meals in the supermarket that I can put in the microwave. Well, the thing is with ready made um, uh, microwave meals, there's two problems with them. So, problem number one is there's not enough in a microwave meal. Like, you are starving after you've eaten it. Well, if you're anything like me, it's star I'm starving. Like, I can eat for Britain. Honestly, my dinner could just go on and on and on and on, and I can still be starving afterwards. But that's probably down to breastfeeding. I don't know. But I always had, like, quite a fast metabolism. So, um i don't know I, i've always been quite a big eater and um yeah microwave meals are just too small and also they are full of salt i i, I don't know unless you get like the healthy living ones i don't really know but uh, apparently they're all full of salt so um like a little bit of salt is good for you but like in moderation look i sound like a blooming <laughs> 
expert here and I'm not, but I just know from, you know, my 42 years of being on the planet that a microwave meal tastes so good because it is just like full of salt. Oh, bubbs. Um, Janine Evans says, good evening, Gabby. Love your red nail varnish. Thank you so much for my birthday shout out for March the 29th. I'm sorry I sent you such a tongue twister in my night off from work with a 102 year old client. Um, no, not a problem at all. And you're more than welcome. I'll always give anyone a birthday shout out if it's their birthday. I'm more than happy to do that. Um, I just need to make sure that I see it because sometimes um, it can take a while to go through people's comments and then I might come across something and then I'll be going, oh my God, like I didn't see that one. Um, and then I might end up delivering it late and that is the problem. But no, um, you are absolutely more than welcome. And um, the red nail polish, I actually had my nails done today. I don't really go for false nails. I always go for um, just gel on my natural nails so they give them a good old file and sort them all out I don't like long nails not really long nails I like a tiny tiny bit of length um but I don't like these great big claws I mean I know that you know girls absolutely love them don't they they love having great big claws but I I don't uh, and the reason I don't like it is because I think sometimes they can look a bit witchy and sometimes I find that they're a pain in the backside because you go and you have them and then they grow out in like two weeks and then you've got a pain, you've got to get them all filled in. And when they're growing out, they look manky. So they look nice for like the first weeks, maybe at a push two weeks. Um, and then they just look rotten. So you've got to keep up with it. And when they do eventually come off, even with acetone, your natural nail underneath is completely destroyed. So I just refuse point blank to do them anymore, unless it was like a major special occasion, like on my wedding to Tim, I, I had them done. And I think I had them done um, just before I had Casper. Cause I was like, I just want my nails to be really, really nice. You know, for when the baby's born and the pictures and all that. But honestly, I, I have never, my nails are never right after having nail extensions. And now they're in a good condition. I will just gel them and that is it. And I'll just let them like go naturally with a bit of gel on the top just to protect them so that they don't keep chipping and breaking and stuff like that. And that's just the way forward for me. Um, but yeah, I got them done today. I decided to go really vibrant because I'm like in holiday mode. I'm so excited to go. I can't wait. Um, my dad's already there and the family are already there. So I just can't wait to go and join them, to be honest with you. I'm just, you know, everyone around me seems to be going away at the moment. But yeah, I can't wait to get away. Um, Wendy Kemp, thank you so much for your super chat. Um, it's my birthday Monday, Monday, celebrating at the weekend. Oh, Wendy, have a lovely birthday. Um, send me a PM, remind me it's your birthday and make sure on the coffee morning I'll give you an extra shout out as well. Have an absolutely wonderful time. Um, let your hair down, have a drink. Barry Coppock has been a chan member for 17 months. That's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. Where does the time go? Barry says, I know. That's absolutely crazy. That doesn't feel that long, does it? Um, Emma Arnold has gifted a membership and Sea Kitch has just received that. So congratulations to you and thank you, Emma, for delivering that. That really is lovely of you. Um, Vampy Twine, I do my own nails, old style with nail polish. Wouldn't pay for ugly gel nails. The thing is as well, um, I used to do my own nails all the time, but since having Casper, I just, I can't because you need to, um, you have to allow time for them to dry and I've got like a UV lamp and that. But I tell you now, if I put, and I do sometimes do my own nails, but if I put nail polish on my own nails and they're starting to dry, I can guarantee Casper will come up to me and want picking up or something and my nails will get smudged and I'll be like, oh God, I've just done all that for nothing and stuff like that. And I just need to be on hand all the time when I'm at home and it's really hard. And even if like Tim's distracting him, he'll still come over to me. So it's just like absolutely impossible task. And then once I have achieved the perfect finish on my nails, I guarantee in two days time, they will chip if not before. And I'll do everything people have told me. I'll make sure I put three coats on, top layer as well, and a like bottom layer. And do that little, you know, that little brushing they do at the end. So like they, you brush your nails and then to keep it all intact, you do like 
quick couple of swipes, don't you, at the end of the nail, and that's meant to kind of seal the nail polish. Well, it doesn't for me. It doesn't. It doesn't work. I don't know if it's to do with the art of the hand. I don't know if it's to do with the type of nail polish I'm using, but I've got Sally Hansen, so it's like quite a decent brand, and it's gel polish, and I just don't get it. So I've just told Holly, I just refuse point blank now to paint my own nails i'll just go and get them done and um it's not too expensive really to just get gel and that way i can just have like 20 minutes time out while they're doing it you know and um like my mum can watch casper while i go and do it so it's just a little bit of me time and and they're in good condition and they're looked after and plus the women that do my nails they are really really lovely um it's taken me though a good few salons to find the right people to do my nails and honestly you, they're not all the same they're not and um, some people like put that extra bit of care in and some don't so it's taken a while to find the right one um james thank you so much for gifting that membership thank you so so much um jules b says plunge your nails into cold water to dry them in two minutes i've heard that but i just reckon mine would just smudge so I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I'll be doing mine for a while, but if I ever do, then I'll give it a go. And Tillett says, you have lovely long fingers, Gabby, so your nails always look nice. Oh, thanks, Anne. That's a really nice thing to say. 293 people watching. Hit the thumbs up. How many thumbs up have we got? Mine's not refreshed because surely I've got more than 38 thumbs, right? Surely. Well, I've got two thumbs, but you know what I mean on here. Surely you God. Um, Linda Holmes says, I'm going to Scotland on holiday next week. Hope the weather picks up. Actually, the weather has been so, so nice here today. It's been really, really nice. Um, Walk with me, Tim has just appeared in the chat. Thank I can't, I can't heart that, Tim. I don't know why. Hashtag number one fan. Thank you so much, sexy pants. I haven't seen Tim for days. We are like passing ships in the night at the moment. So he's away working really, really hard to create these really lovely vlogs for you guys. And I, I really miss him. And I said to him, if you get a chance, please pop on the Q&A because he's like filming right as we speak. So I know that he is so busy. He says, like, I miss you. I miss you too. I do you know what I do miss the most, Tim. I miss, <laughs> it sounds really corny, but I really, really miss sitting on the couch and watching a film with you. Like, I miss that a lot. Um, Lee Gaffard says, I've missed you too, Tim. Lol. <laughs> um, Amanda Beach said, I would miss my hubby too. Do you know, I don't know how people cope when their partners go offshore for like three months at a time. I know people will probably get used to it, but that must be so hard, right? It must be so, so hard. Um, but anyway, I'm glad, I'm glad that, um, he's coming home tomorrow. I've been, been waiting for him patiently. <laughs> Gabby, why can't Tim keep on his, on his shirt in your videos? Well, the thing is, Jason, the reason he can't keep his top on in my videos is because he's around me. And when he's around me, what it is, is we, um, we nip off and we have sex like every half an hour. So that is why. <laughs> probably because we're casually just living at home. <laughs> That's probably why. And he probably doesn't realise I'm filming and I've got him. I nearly got him, right, in his pants on the boat the other day. And I thought, oh, I better, I better edit that out, really. But I nearly had him in his pants. <laughs> I just managed to get his t-shirt in the end. Um, Lily O'Brien, thank you so much for your super chat. Hi, Gabby. Just got my Walk With Me merch. Oh, wow. Um, ready to go Adelphi in Liverpool a week Tuesday. Oh, my God. How are you and the family? I just got back from Western Supermare. Um, Lily, um, we're all good. We're all getting ready to go on a family holiday. So we're all really excited about that. So um, we're just in preparation at the moment. I'm going to vlog the holiday as well. So you guys will be able to come along with me. Um, so the Adelphi... Wow, um, I kind of want to go there too myself. So um, have a really, really lovely time. 
and um, that's really nice that you've um, got some of his merch as well. What did you buy, Lily? Let me know, because I know that he does like quite a wide variety of stuff, obviously tops, mugs, all sorts of stuff. So um, let me know. Let me know what you've got. I'm just interested. Um, my mum is in the chat. I bite my nails. I sympathise. Keep trying to give up. That is a nasty habit, mother. <laughs> Tasha MC, will you perform at my wedding? Got 50 pounds. Oh, um, it's a little bit more expensive than 50 pounds for a wedding. And Tasha, I've got this feeling that you might not be in my local area as well. So, um, yeah, 50 pounds. You probably, I don't think you could get an artist for 50 pounds. You might get like a karaoke host. I don't know. Or, um, I don't know. But yeah, £50 isn't really enough for an artist. You might think that that's all I'm worth, but unfortunately I do go out for a little bit more than that, believe it or not. Um, Tasha, you're too cheap. <laughs> some people don't have a lot of money though, you know, so I can totally understand why some people want to, you know, bring the money down. Um, Anna Tidgemarsh, I really want one of Tim's hoodies. The white one is lush. I've got the white one, I love it. I was wearing it the other day and I was feeding Fumps because it's so great to throw on and um, Fumps chucked his dinner at me and it went all down it and I just thought, oh my God. Um, so yeah, that's in the wash with some stain remover. So I'm hoping that's gonna come out. Otherwise we'll have to get a new one. Um, Miss Dog Lover said that she will do your cabaret for 55. <laughs> um, Michael John Dennis, I've been to a Kylie tribute act before and they were very good. That's cool, I've never been to a Kylie Minogue tribute. Um, Jules B um, has been a chum member for nine months. Tim, Bailey's Mint is out again for a limited time only. Get a load of that, Bailey's Mints. Anyway, 307 people watching the Q&A this evening. Don't forget, if you want to ask any questions, feel free, pop them in the chat. It's all about questions this evening and getting it all out. Um, just so you all know as well that um, we're, um, we've are we just filmed the boat, the boat and holiday. Tim did get me on a boat. So that's going to be coming up tomorrow evening. I'm going to be doing, uh, you're going to see like a Poundland haul. And then um, coming up after that, you're going to get the boat um, trip as well. Uh, Lily says, oh, thanks, Lily, again. That's so kind. Um, got the hoodie and mug. I'm going to Delphi after Tim's inspired me. Um, we'll film and take photos. Can't wait. Never been to Liverpool. I've never been to Liverpool. I, I know I drove through Liverpool, but I've never really stayed in Liverpool. Um, oh, you got the hoodie. Did you get the white hoodie? Because the white hoodie is really nice, isn't it? Um, Hazel says it's costing us 180 for a disco for our golden anniversary party, but um, we'll be good night. Um, he does fun things to get the party going, games for the kids. That's quite good. That's a good price if he's going like through the night. Um, it's, um, yeah. Oh, Holly, will you do me a favour? Can you go and grab your extension from upstairs, please? And um, can I use your phone charger? Because yours might be faster than that one. That took an hour to get to 30%. Why are you shaking your head? Let me be a phone charger. Holly's like that. It. <laughs> it's new. Holly um, always like wants to borrow my though, things, please. but when I want to borrow something, if you want She's in her pajamas. There we go. <laughs> Holly always wants to borrow my things, but when I want to borrow something, it's always a no. Isn't that always the way? Um, Laura Jane Leeson, welcome to the Louders. Yay! And if you're wondering what channel members are, basically being a channel member is a great way to support the channel. For that, you get prioritised responses, you get customised emojis, and you get a little badge next to your name for every month that you are a Louder. And you can become a Super Louder, which gives you all of what I've just said, but it also gives you behind the scenes footages as well. And no, I did not rehearse that. I've just said it so many times now that it's just, you know, just coming straight out. Um, 311 watching. Wow, fabulous, absolutely fabulous. Um, Sponkadonk says, cracking up at Gabby, not seeing Tim's comments. Oh my God, Gabby, he said. Thanks, Holly. Thanks, Go on, Tim, say it now. I'm waiting for your comment. Come through. I, I won't say anything more. Just comment, Tim. And I'm keep... 
What's going on? Why? What do you mean what's going on? What do you mean what's going on? Hiya Jane! What do you mean Tim what's going on? Hi James! Is Holly engaged? Holly? Are you engaged? I think Tim Tim's trying to ring you. Are you trying to ring Holly? James, thanks for gifting a membership. That's so kind, thank you. And congratulations, Leslie, for getting that. Tim, are you trying to ring Holly or do you mean as Ryan proposed to her? Has Tim gone? Has he gone? I could be here all day just waiting for him to respond. Oh, is it to do with me saying mother-in-law to be? Oh, Tim, what's going on home? Oh, how come? I don't know. What? Uh, I'm confused. Sorry, I've got to put my phone on charge. I don't know. Oh yeah, because of the mother-in-law comment. Can I not borrow your charger then? Oh, thanks, Hall. That's what happens. You give birth to these children, and then they don't lend you their phone chargers well, when you need them. What do you need mine for? Because this one I've got on hand at the moment doesn't seem to charge very fast. Like I put my phone on charge for an hour, and it was like thirty-three percent, and I was like, "That's a bit strange." So. Well, I've got a charger in my car. Hello, Bubbups. So anyway, questions, questions. Come on, people. Um, Lydia Bryan, sorry, guys. Don't know how to respond to comments. Dribbles says hi back. Oh, is that your cat? Um, channel for cats. Tim's having a meltdown because he thinks Holly has got engaged without him knowing. Really? Really? <laughs> no, I don't, think, I don't think she would get engaged. I'm pretty sure Ryan would ask you first, Tim. I'm pretty sure. Well, not Ryan wouldn't propose to you, Tim, but I'm sure he would ask you for permission to marry Holly, I'm sure. Um, how's the house move going, Laura said. Um, it, you know what solicitors are like? It is a waiting game and we are still waiting. Um, all right, Charlotte 19 says, Gabby said mother-in-law. So because I said mother-in-law, I said mother-in-law to be meaning like maybe in about... 10, 20 years time, I don't know. Um, that's what I meant. <laughs> 324 people watching, please hit the thumbs up, share the love this uh, lovely Thursday evening. Have a sip of your drinks. I never knew what you guys were all drinking, you never let me know. Tim is so worried. No, well Tim, you don't need to worry Tim, it's all good. Um, Kerry says you have a beautiful family. Oh, thank you so much. James says, before I go, I have a question. What's the difference between a monkey and a ape? I don't really know, to be honest with you. Is it an ape bigger than monkeys? I don't know, James. Let, tell us, tell us. You wouldn't be the last to know, Tim. So we've got Emma Arnold, she's on a black Russian. Um, Helen Bosworth's having a Pepsi Max. Juliet Falga's having a plain old tea. Nothing wrong with a plain old tea. I'll be having one of those myself in a little while. Um, Eating Healthy says we've got 187 thumbs up. Leslie Matthews is on the coffee. I had a coffee a little while ago as well, which was quite close to the wine actually. So I don't know why I did that. Um, Kerry Piera is having a hot tea with lemon. That is very healthy. That is a healthy drink. Ivory White, Cherry and Blackcurrant Cordial, that's healthy too. Um, Michelle, I'm drinking Peach and White Grape Squash. That's an interesting one, where'd you get that from? Um, oh, it's because monkeys have tails. Is that it? Is that the difference? Monkeys have tails. Which brings me to um, the poll. So I don't know if you all saw the poll, but I put in the poll as like the question um hang on just move that a bit more center now um if you if you had a time machine like would you go to the past or would you go to the future 
So it's quite interesting because 66% 66 of you said you would go to the past. So the rest, I can't sit here and work my maps out. So the rest of you are going to the future. So that's quite interesting. A lot of um, Channel for Cat said the future. I just, I just, I'm so intrigued to know why people have picked their their reasonings because me and my mum were talking about it today because we were talking about like my granddad being in the Navy and stuff like that and we were talking about it and I said to my mum I would love so much to go back to the past because my mum met my dad on a holiday park and um, I always hear about the good old days you know back in the like the late 70s and, and like how you know things that happened on the holiday parks and stuff like that and mum was talking about how on on the park they had like a bookmakers and in that bookmakers everyone could like have a fag and there was like a little pub next door this is all all on the holiday park and people would just like go backwards and forwards between the two placing bets and just having a laugh and socializing and um don't get me wrong i don't agree with smoking but obviously back then a lot of people just um had a fag didn't they it was quite a sociable thing and um there was all that kind of stuff that was going on and nowadays you don't get a bookmakers on a holiday park it's just not the dumb thing and my mum said to me that you know there was like three different pubs a couple of different show bars and stuff and then one great big ballroom and they used to have like so many acts on there and you know the entertainment business was thriving and I'd hear all these stories and I just said to my mum I said god I'd love to have a time machine and just go back and um, because holiday parks and stuff are just not what they were at all I mean I didn't obviously live in the 70s but I do remember like my mum and dad were always working on holiday parks when I was born and I and my mum was still singing in bands and my dad was still like working the sound and lights and stuff. And I remember some nights having to go to work with them and um, and I'd be like asleep on the sofas in the clubhouse, just so tired because that's what happened in those days. And I remember the atmosphere and I always remember the ballroom like being jam packed, completely crammed. And now you go in a holiday park ballrooms and there's like, they're quite sparse and stuff like that. And I just think the way things are today, the way change has happened, I just think so much of the social element has gone. And I would love to just get in a time machine and go back to the past, but I wouldn't want to get in a time machine and go to the future because I'd be absolutely terrified of what I might see. And then I'd have to live the rest of my life if there's bad news or something like that, knowing it's coming. But going back would be so much fun. So I was just like completely intrigued to know what other people thought. Um, Colour and chat, thank you so much for your super chat. Gabby, drinking lem lemoncello. Oh, that's a shot in it. Isn't that a shot? A lemoncello. Um, I homemade from Delaware. Girl, you look sharp today. Ooh, I've never really been called sharp before. <laughs> but thank you so much i'm gonna take that as a compliment that i'm looking sharp the more i drink the sharper i look and i'm not joking because i blossom <laughs> no honestly like i have two sips of wine and i get giddy and then i just you know and i <laughs> just perk right up um colin capers i pick past as i never knew my real father oh and grandparents i would love to go back knowing what i know now that is really good reasoning for that. Yeah, I think that is really, really good. Yeah, I can see why. I think that's a really good choice. It is such a shame that in, with modern technology, we can create all these things and all these gadgets on our phones, but we can't crack that time machine. <laughs> well, they say people can time travel. And there's been people that have said they've, they've gone to the past through this wormhole and stuff. And I'm like, oh, I don't know. You know, it's, it's all a bit weird. Although I do, I do believe in realms. I think I do. I do think that they're not, they're not, um, you know, when you think you can hear a ghost and you're like, what's that sound? What's that noise? And stuff like that. It, to me, I think that that is um, realms. I don't think it's ghosts. I think like it's, have you seen the film Interstellar? I think it's like that. So I think, so basically, how do I explain what I'm talking about? So we're living in 2024, right? And obviously you've got, say, 1960 and all these other years, all 
like coinciding all at the same time without us realizing and somebody that stood in this place at that time is living and we see and feel their movement and it's someone living at another time at the same time yeah deep in it that's my ideal ideology yeah that's what <laughs> that's what i think is so weird um but that's what I think. I don't believe in ghosts, I believe in realms, but I just don't know how that happens. But apparently someone went through a wormhole and got into another realm, yeah. Um, Laura Jane Leeson, enjoy your drink on your holiday. Thank you so much, Laura. I will, thank you. And I'll cheers to you, Laura. So thank you so, so much. Um, Barry as well, um, enjoy your holiday drink. Thank you, Barry, that is so sweet. Um, Thank you so, so much. I love the fact that you guys are all supporting these Super Chats as well and you're all giving them a thumbs up. That is so nice. Thank you guys for supporting one another. It's really, really nice. Um, but yeah, I think I think there's like a whole realm thing. Do you know, the funny thing is like talking about like the past and ghosts and stuff like that. On um, Easter Sunday, <laughs> we had a really deep conversation. I don't know if you've got a family that are like mine. My family is round the twist, literally. Like, um, I suffer with my mental health, but um, we are just, yeah, I don't know what we think half the time. We're all a bit crazy. And um, there's no, there was no alcohol involved this particular night because, like, I weren't feeling every great. I think it's when I had that um, stomach bug and um, my... Was it when I had the stomach bug? I think it was. No, it was Easter Sunday. Yeah, it might be when I had the stomach bug. I knew I weren't feeling well, so it might have been that. I can't remember. Um, my sister was working the next day, so there was, like, no drinking involved. So we were all sober, which makes change, because usually when we have dinner parties, we like a good old knees up. We do. We Us Starbucks, we are responsible for a good old knees up. Um, and I'm Italian blooded, so we do like our dinner parties. And then, anyway, we got into a really, really deep conversation. And Holly started it, didn't you, Holly? What? That deep conversation we had on Easter Sunday. I think because we were talking about, because my mum's Catholic, and we were talking about Jesus and the crucifixion and him rising again and stuff like that. And we were talking about... Um, where do you think, what do you think happens to you after you die? And obviously my mum <laughs> believes, and she might be right, because nobody really knows, do they? There's no, there's nobody come back and told us, not properly, have they? Well, no one's told me anyway. Um, but my mum says that um, she, she thinks that, hang on, hold that for Ivory Whites, thank you so much for your super chat. Can't wait to hear news about your new home, Gabby. Oh, thank you. Well, like I say, as soon as it does happen, I will definitely um, keep you all in the loop. And I'm going to, like, vlog bits of it as well. So I'm going to, like, vlog turning rooms around and stuff like that. Because the thing is, I can't really do it here in this house. And the reason being is because, we, because we're going to be changing. There's no point. So, um... I really, really want to do some vlogs like that. And I will do vlogs like that. So, um, you know, hang in there. Um, so, yeah, my mum's ideology is... Um, sorry if this is, like, deep or offensive towards anyone. Because, obviously, we're all our own person. And we all are entitled to our own sort of little thoughts, aren't we? Um, and it shouldn't be offensive. But, you know, some people can be quite sensitive, I suppose, in some respects. I'm a sensitive soul, so I can understand it. But my mum is Catholic and she believes, like, you know, we all we all meet up when we pass away and, like, our loved ones are all waiting for us and we all sort of go to heaven and stuff like that. And she said, but you know what? When I get, when I get to heaven, she said, I'm going to have a really, like, cross word with God. Um, we go all the way around the table asking everybody their opinions on what they think happens. And I was like, oh, why is that then, mum? And she went, because I want to have a word of him. And I want to say, why did you not, um, why did you make it that only women could give birth and not men? And I was like, okay. And why, you know, why women struggle with period pains and, you know, and I've got this to ask him and why is there all this suffering? And, da, 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 da. and she's, I went, well, um, I said, you know, what makes you think that he's going to sit and answer your questions? And she said, well, she said, because, you know, I've um, 
been a Catholic all my life, I've supported it in that. She said, but you know what? I've got one little bit of a problem. She thinks that because, <laughs> because she's like um, been a Catholic and supported God and stuff, she said, I think he's going to sit me on a throne and um, I'm just going to be bored out of my brain when I'm sat on this throne. I was like, well, so you think that you're going to get through the pearly gates and he's going to sit you out of everyone down on a throne and let you just sit there for eternity? And she was like, well, yeah. And like, I'm just really worried I'm going to be really bored. And I was like, oh, my God, mum. So that was mum's ideology of what happens when you pass away. And then my sister um, turns around and says, what did Fran say? Remember what her version was? She thinks there's something like heaven pretty much where we'll all meet again. Like yeah, she said, I think she said she thinks that there's a heaven and that. And then, Holly, what was yours? You you said like you were on the fence and you were well, unsure, didn't you? Fence. Oh, yes, yeah, so you said you think that, like, that's it, don't you? You think there's, you don't remember well, before I, you're born, you don't I remember. Just said, as depressing as it sounds, I don't want it to be this way, but I do think that it, it's just no different to how you were before you were born. You just no longer exist, which I hate to say because it sounds horrible, but... That's just what I think. I don't know if you can hear her or not. Um, <laughs> so, um, that's, what she, that's what Holly's opinion is. She just believes like you don't remember before you're born. And as much as she doesn't want to believe it, that's what she thinks. And um, then I came out with my great big spiel about realms and how I think that, you know, I think that we continue living, but don't realise that we're living. So... Like, we've passed away, but we continue living our lives in our own mind. and But we're actually passed on, but we're living a normal life. And then we continue into these realms. And everyone was like, oh, my God, like, whatever is that? And then my brother-in-law, brilliant, sits there and says, well, I think we go to Mars. And we were all like, what? He said, yeah, I think we go to Mars. And then Tim's, like, in the lounge, like, dealing with funds. And he's going... What on earth are you not all talking about in there? And I just said, you think we go to Mars? <laughs> I was like, what? I was like, what have you been drinking? <laughs> yeah, he believed he went to Mars. So it is quite interesting, the kind of like conversations you get into and stuff. It's absolutely nuts. Um, I know that was like a little bit deep, but I'm not, I'm sure I'm not, we're not the only mad family that have these weird debates. Claire says, hi, Gabby, love you and Tim, really enjoy both channels. Our children, Lewis and Jessica, really also enjoy watching. Please, can we have a shout out for Jessica, 11th birthday on Tuesday. Oh, wow, big happy birthday to you, Jessica. Have the most amazing day and thank you so much for watching. I feel really bad having like that little conversation then knowing that kids are watching. Um, so, like I said, I do apologise. Um, <laughs> um, but hopefully they don't think too much of it. Um, uh karina thank you so so much for your super chat evening gabby hope you're well it is my birthday on saturday so we'd love a shout out loving the channel and a big happy birthday to you karina as well and thank you so much for your super chat um that's really really kind i hope that you have an amazing birthday um sarah louise says hi gabby i live on my own and love your lives they always keep me company and you always talk about interesting things Oh, thank you. Some people say that I talk a little bit too much and talk a load of like jargon, really. Um, but it, you know, uh, at the moment we're talking about time machines and what happens uh, and on the other side. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's quite strange. Um, just catching up with your chat here. Um, Miss Dog Lover says, I'm a bit crazy like my dad. My mum is very sensible. Um, the funny thing is, like... I think I think both my parents can be sensible. Um, I think my mum might be the more sensible one. I don't know. Like, I think I would be... I don't know. They're just different in different ways, if that makes sense. Um, Betsy says, I recorded a man's voice on my phone recently. Just me and the cat in the house. Shut up. You didn't. What, what did they say? Are you in a terraced house? Could it have been through the walls? Um, I need more info, Betsy. I need more info than that. Angie says the fly is back. Where is the fly? Where's Smidge for that matter? I don't know where Smidge is either. 
Um, Marge says, I would like to go back to the 80s um, when I was in teens. I loved the music, fashion, etc., and no phone and not so much technology, Gabby. Yeah, um, I know what you mean because, like, I was an 80s child. I've got someone singing in the background. I was an 80s child and it was the best time ever in the 80s, like Madonna, um, New Kids on the Block. Or the new kids on the block, the 90s. Did we go into the 90s with them? I swear they were 80s. Kylie Minogue. Um, yeah, the music was amazing. It's very techno and dance now, isn't it, music, I think. It has totally evolved, completely changed music has. And I kind of do like the 80s style as well. Everybody had a perm, didn't they? Um, but the 80s were great. And I don't know about this whole mobile phone business because the thing is, if... If I didn't have the technology, then I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing tonight, obviously. But I think there are some very sad elements to modern technology because I just don't think that um, people are socialising like they should be anymore. Like the pubs, people used to go and meet their mates down the pub, like after work and stuff and have a happy hour. And, you know, that's all done and dusted now. And like, well, people do still go down the pubs, but not as much as they used to. Uh, I think a lot of the pub trade are suffering as well because of the price of beer and stuff like that. And because I, I think people struggle to afford it now to go out. I just think times are completely changing. Um, it's such a shame. Um, my Static Vogue. Hi, Gabby. We've just joined the chat. Good luck with your move. Well, we haven't, uh, we're not there yet, but um, we're hoping that we will hear something soon with a bit of luck. Like I say, I'll keep you all in the loop. Um, oh, Anne-Marie. Um, don't worry, Anne-Marie. I'm sure you'll get mentioned soon. Oh, sorry. Um, Big shout out to Anne Marie anyway. I didn't read your I didn't see your message in the chat. Um, but a big shout out to you. Um Claire Bevan, hi Gabby, love you and Tim. I've got that one, I've already done that one. I'm going back on myself here. I'm so so sorry. Um let me just um Julie says my ring doorbell caught something that can't be explained. I rung the support team and sent the video and and case id or case i'd been hacked oh in case i'd been hacked i hadn't and they said they had no explanation for it that's something like that happened to tim once i'm sure i don't know if tim's still in the chat um yeah i i don't know um something like that happened to tim that rings a bell literally door the doorbell but like I said, it might be realms. It may be it's someone from the 60s that's living at your property at the same time and they just happen to be going in and out of the door of the house because they once lived there. Who knows? You never know. You never know. Um, Charlotte 19 says, 90s music. The music nowadays haven't got a clue what they are saying. Oh, yeah, I know what you mean. Like, no word of a lie. Like, as a singer, when you're singing new like you know all, all the songs you put your playlist together the modern stuff now it's not it's not sort of stuff that you can perform when you're out and about it's it's just too dancey like what i mean dance i mean like um like too clubby if that makes sense it's not the sort of music you can learn so a lot of like my stuff is sort of there are a few things from the early noughties in there like in my set but it's 90s 80s 70s things like that um, Anne-Marie, it's not you, Gabby. How are you doing today? And how is Tim and how is Casper? Um, we're all really good. Thank you, Anne-Marie. Hope you're good too. Um, uh, yeah, we're all good and we're all like getting ready to go on our holidays and we're so excited. Um, Chris Goff says, I saw a hand under the dog basket once but came down with measles soon after. So my mind playing tricks probably. Yeah, but it could have been real. I don't know. I don't. I've never. I've never ever seen anything. Touch wood. I don't want to see anything. I don't think. But until I see something, I don't know if I believe in ghosts. But there was something on Tim's channel that did actually make me think. He did um, a vlog um, of. I think it was a castle in Wales. I'm sure it was. It was notorious for being haunted by the woman that once owned it way back when. 
and the funny thing is he's doing like um, a tour around the hotel and as he's walking down the corridor he actually says um oh just felt a chill something along them lines he says and as soon as he says it he goes to walk through this door and you see like a silhouette of what looks like the woman dressed like because there's pictures of that old owner all around the hotel and she's dressed in black like a black dress with a bit of white and that and i can't ex can't remember the, like the look but she's like in a black dress with a bit of white hair i think it was and you can actually see a silhouette that's dark with a little bit of white so it's all in the correct areas and it is actually a woman and and i saw that tim edited the whole vlog and didn't notice it and i went oh my god and so did holly when we watched it and at the same point people have been messaging Tim saying that they had seen this woman, this silhouette of this woman in the same place. So everybody had seen it. And my cousin, who's really into all that sort of stuff, I sent her um, the link and said, oh, just go, just check this out. What do you think? And she was like, oh my God, that's definitely her. And then she started doing loads of research on her and apparently she haunts the corridors and stuff like that. And, and that to me was a bit odd, I must say. But again, it could be a realm. It could be a realm from well back then. I'm going to have you all thinking about realms. I'm, honestly, I can convince you. <laughs> yeah, but you never know. It might be. You never, ever know, Holly. Don't don't knock it till we know, because nobody knows for sure. Leanne Spampanato. Did I say your surname right? I always get that wrong, don't I? Hi, Gabby. Hi. How are you and Holly doing? I'm really good, thank you. Um, it'd be quite interesting, actually. Um, I hope that you're all right, Leanne. Because, um, Leanne, I haven't seen you on it for ages. And I'm assuming it's because when I've done, like, a live, it's been on a coffee morning and it's been a certain day of the week. Who on here, um, put it in the chat now, um, doesn't get a chance to watch the coffee morning. If you don't get a chance to watch the coffee morning and you're watching this because it's, like, the only live you can catch, just put yes in the chat now just so I can get a bit of an idea because I'm absolutely intrigued um michelle says i hope you have a lovely holiday we're going on holiday to turkey in about two weeks oh i remember you saying you were going to turkey um have a lovely time michelle um i want to go to turkey so badly um jason says yes andy polly jenny medium dotty riddle um mike t um mike binning and anna tidge march is saying bye to someone <laughs> um Lloyd Paz, Chris Lowe, because there are so many names. There are so many names in the chat that I don't see on the coffee morning. So I was just really intrigued. Christopher says, watch on catch up. Chris, I always thought that you were watching on the coffee mornings. Um, Deja, Deja says, yes, but it's become it's because I am seven hours behind. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, you are seven hours behind, aren't you? No way. Michelle says, depends on the day. Little M5. I believe in reincarnation. I think we should come back as a cat like Smidge. Oh, I think somebody said that at the dinner table, actually. That someone believed in reincarnation. Freddie said that, didn't he? My nephew, he said he thought we were reincarnated. I hope that we don't get reincarnated. And I'll tell you why. I do not want to go through my driving test ever, ever again. And I'm really scared that I'm going to be born into, like, I don't know, a country that I don't like. Like, is it South or North Korea where they they all do, like, abide by their president and can only watch him on TV? I'm absolutely terrified that I'm going to end up, like, re being reborn into that country. And I'm going to just hate it. I'm going to hate it and I'm just going to cry and cry and cry and I just don't want to. Um, so, yeah, I just don't think I want to. So I hope not. Um, and if we come back as animals, what if we come back as an ant man? Like, I don't think my lifespan will be very long and I'll just be spending my whole time working really, really hard to get a breadcrumb and, and then I'll get stood on by someone. So I just don't want to be reincarnated. It sucks. Um <laughs> Karina says, don't get a chance to watch the Coffee Mornings live because I work early shift Monday to Friday. Oh, Karina, that's a shame. But you're watching now. And I think that's another reason I wanted to do like the Q&As as well because um, 
because like, doing the Q and A's gives like a diff like gets other people that don't get a chance to watch live a chance to watch because at a different time and stuff. Um, Leanne, thank you so much for your super chat. Um, yes, I'm ready. Sorry, I keep forgetting to watch you. Oh, well, that's all right, Leanne. Don't worry. <laughs> it's, it's only me. <laughs> I'm easily to. I'm an easy person to forget. Maybe I should put some more reminders up. I don't know. I usually put a reminder up like on Instagram and stuff like that, and maybe sometimes on YouTube. But um, I think most people are kind of like sort of ready for it. I don't know. Um, the people that do watch. Chloe, school gets in the way of watching. Yeah, I know what you mean, Chloe. <laughs> And that's another reason. I don't want to go through school again. I, didn't, I know there might be some kids watching, but I'm really sorry, but I didn't like school. I didn't really did not like it. Um, Lee says, that's why you should never kill anything because you never know what you might come back as. Yeah. Yeah, that's a really good point, Lee, to be fair. Claire B is in the chat and been a channel member for 10 months. Yay. Claire, how are you doing? How are you feeling these days? How is how's it all coming along? Um... Anne Marie says, I've never heard Gabby singing. Um, well, to be fair, there are some old videos on YouTube where you can see um, the singing and there's some clips on my actual singing page on Facebook and some on Instagram. But I'm going to be completely honest now. I've got company in here. A fly. <laughs> it's nothing to be proud of. Um, when you are recording, like when someone is recording you singing, it never is as good when you're watching it on a camera. That's not me going, oh my God, I'm a great singer. Um, but it doesn't do it any justice through a phone. It really doesn't. Um, so when you do watch it, just just be, if you watch any of my singing, just be bearing in mind that it is through like a phone. So it's never going to have the top quality sound quality or any top quality sound quality. Uh, um Joanne J said, I would not want to go to school again if we come again. Joanne, me neither. I'm so with you on that one. I hated it. Um, me too. So did Holly. Lisa, I am at work at Salvation Army in the morning. Uh, at, at why not show... Why not show the coffee morning? Do you watch the coffee morning while you're working in the Salvation Army store, Lisa? Um... Michael Bedway, which Haven Holiday Park in Great Yarmouth does Holly work on? She doesn't. She doesn't work on a holiday park. She used to. She used to work on Caster, but she doesn't anymore. Um, she has um, moved on to greener pastures. Not that there's anything not green about working on the holiday park, but you just sort of move on, don't you? Um, Charlotte says, any more holly vlogs? That's a good point. When did you last upload a vlog? Okay. I do apologise, but I do have my reasons as well. Can you hear her? So, yeah, she's got her reasons for not putting a vlog up yet because she's been up to her eyeballs in it. She's just got a new position in her current job at the moment. Um, if any of you have been, like, looking closely at my Instagram, you might see that I've reshared some of Holly's posts and stuff, and it might give you a bit of an idea of what she's doing, but she's basically... Um, well, I'll let her tell you that because that's up to her because she wants to sort of reveal that in her next vlog. So um, just like bear with us, you know, hang in there and um, you'll see some Holly's vlogs soon. Um, Jenny says, your Facebook reels are brilliant. Sad they are so short. Um, yeah, the thing is with um, the reels... Um, my my dad does the filming for me like at my gigs so my dad will um oh did he just say purple did you say purple did you oh my god it's so, <laughs> so yeah my dad will do like his he's my he's my roadie right and he will film what he can and my my dad is not the best with a mobile phone. Neither is my mother, actually. She's in the chat, I think, so I don't want to be too offensive. But they are a little bit behind with the times when it comes to, you know, editing and phone stuff. But the reason for that is they don't need to do it 
like we all do it now because it's part of our job role so with the singing it's important that i try and keep up with my social media and the same with youtube and i edit on my phone and do a lot of my phone so we're using our phones all day every day so we're a little bit more skilled using it i suppose well, i won't call myself skilled but a little bit more advanced than my mum and dad because um, they don't really need to they don't have the type of phones that we do and they don't really need to do it you know because if they want to get in touch with their mates they usually just pick up the phone and ring and they don't really need to bother with that sort of stuff so when i say to my dad oh can you can you get some footage or something tonight my dad will do the best he can but he's got a really naff phone um it was one i gave him like maybe 10 years ago <laughs> he still got it um he was gonna get my old old phone but holly smashed her phone up so she had to borrow that and then she went and smashed that up so dad can have that one but it's smashed but as long as he doesn't mind getting glass in his fingers then he should be able to create some good quality reels but i'd rather he didn't get glass in his fingers and not have the phone personally and continue creating bad quality reels so this is where we're at now if i give him my phone to do it there is a good chance that he might hit the wrong button because he doesn't know the phone and sometimes I'll be in the middle of singing and I'll grab my phone and I'll quickly do some multitasking which I am terrible at as you all know and I'll give my dad the phone and by the time I've given him it half the half the song has gone anyway so all the reels are as soon as dad will be sat there and he'll be having a pint and he'll go yeah quite like this boat this song might film this actually so my dad gets his phone out and goes gets his specs like father christmas and he'll go hmm. Hmm. Ah. and then he'll get up and he'll come round. And he'll do that. And then you've got someone in the audience going, I don't want to be filmed, I don't want to be filmed. And it's like, you're not being filmed. And they're like, mm, no, mm, mm, and creating a massive drama. And then he's like, okay, sorry. Or, oh, that light is too bright. And it's like, loads of people use their phones these days. How can the light be too bright? And dad's like trying to focus, but dad doesn't know people and moaning about the light being too bright. And I need someone to get me some footage for my social media. And by the time he's cracked the right angle, song's over and that's my dad for you so we do the best we can with what we've got <laughs> basically and to make it worse he will we will get home so we'll get back from say wherever we've been king's lynn or say we've been lower staff wherever we've been singing so we've been traveling back and we're shattered and it's two o'clock in the morning i get in and i start taking my makeup off and then my phone's going ping 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 and dad is suddenly sending over all these reels um or videos if you like for reels and he's done them landscape instead of portrait and i'll go to dad that way that way and he'll be like what and i'll be like turn the phone that way that way no 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 and i carry on singing and he's going what you want about and i'm like just trying to turn around hi you know like singing like that and then i'm telling my dad and we're just like an absolute comedy act it's just awful and these reels will come through and i go what's he got then what's he got for me that i can upload and then i look through and go i ah, did that one last week did that one yesterday put that one up last month too recent oh we don't have anything brilliant thanks dad yeah and that's the way it goes. So unfortunately, I want to put up more reels, but I can't. I, what I need to do is I need to hire like an assistant or something. <laughs> Colin Capers, thank you so, so much for your super sticker. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, we're still talking about reincarnation. <laughs> we're still talking about reincarnation. Um, Daniel says, hi, Gabby. Did you get my email? Reply from your mention to the coffee morning daniel yes i did get it i read it i think it was two nights ago i was um going through my emails and i i have to go into my junk file because i go in there and sometimes like sometimes you'll get like companies like offering a sponsorship to you for like youtube and stuff and obviously 
have not really taken any because they're not ones that I fancy, but I keep my eyes peeled on them anyway. And um, they seem to go in the junk file because they're not recognized. And I was going through my junk file and as I was going through, I saw Daniel Butterworth and I was like, oh, and then I read it and I thought, God, it's like two o'clock in the morning because I've been feeding Casper and I was like, I can't respond. And um, because the problem is, because I'm not in front of the computer, because you sent me quite a lengthy one, and obviously I'd want to take the time to message you back, because I'm in a situation where I'm like half asleep with one eye open, one eye shut, I was like, I can't respond right now. So I definitely, definitely will respond. I just need to sit down with the keypad, keypad and respond when I get five minutes. So Daniel, I thought it was a really, really lovely email and I really appreciated like everything that you said in it as well. It was very, um, very relatable. And um, it's really nice that um, you and Michelle like got each other and stuff like that. And yeah, it was really nice to read. It's nice to know that like, what I'm doing is appreciated, if you know what I mean. And I, d I don't really think like I do an awful lot, but it's just nice to have that bit of company, isn't it? And a little bit of a chat. And the thing is as well, I do talk really openly about my mental health. In fact, I wanna do like my next q and I'm gonna do like a lot of focus on mental health, I think, because loads of people suffer with mental health and they suffer on, like there's a spectrum, isn't there? And some people that say, oh, I don't have any mental health issues. They probably have, but it's only minor. Do you know what I mean? Because everybody's got some sort of thing going on up here, haven't they? So some people suffer minor and some people really, really struggle with it and, and struggle on how to deal with things and accept it. And I like, I'm not a counsellor, I'm not an expert. I only know from what I've picked up over my time and I've really struggled and I've struggled with my mental health from being a kid. Like I've had phobias, fears, worries, and really struggled from about the age of 10. That sort of all kicked in for me. And I, my very first worry was my sickness phobia. Oh my God, I completely, completely took over my life. I can't explain it. If anyone goes back on the vlogs, I did like a huge anxiety vlog in itself, talking about my anxieties, my fears, and my worries and stuff like that. Because my main thing is, it's not a depression that I've got, mine's more of an anxiety. And my anxieties have really took over my life to the point where, probably was it about, well, it's before I conceived Casper. So and it must have been about before lockdown as well. Was it the year before lockdown? Or was it two years before lockdown? I can't remember the exact year, to be honest with you, off the top of my head. But I had such a breakdown and I remember hitting it hitting me like a ton of bricks. Me and my work colleague were obviously we we're in management position and um, we were interviewing and there was a woman that we were interviewing for a reception role. And um, we we sat and it was in the restaurant and we were interviewing her and I just felt like my throat was about to close up and I'd been struggling anyway with this for a long time, but it got really severe at this point. And I suddenly felt like my temperature had like completely dropped. I felt really cold on the inside, but I felt really hot and was completely sweating. And I felt my throat was closing up and I couldn't breathe. And I'm asking like this woman questions and I'm trying to control myself. And it just, it just hit me so bad. And I'd like to say, I've been struggling with this for a long time with this throat problem that I'd got and I remember there's like um in between the restaurant and the the kitchen where they'd cook the food I remember going oh I'll be back in a moment and I remember taking myself out of the situation from the interview standing in like this little archway leaning against the wall and then just like kneeling down and I was just like oh my god what am I gonna do I'm in the right state and um one of the maintenance guys had come up to me and was like, are you okay? Um, Cause then I went outside to sit on a bench and I, I was sweating and I just started crying. And I just said, I just want this to go away. I just want this to go away. I, it's taken over my life. And I felt really trembly. It, it was a panic attack basically to cut it, to cut it bluntly. And I'd been to the doctors so many times and said, 
there's something wrong with my throat. I had cameras down my throat and everything. I had a camera twice down my throat. I had it up my nose and down the back of my throat. And there was nothing wrong with me. And it took me a long time to be persuaded by my doctor that I'd got like anxiety and I needed to go on to medication. And I just didn't, for ages, I just didn't want to believe him because I was like, you're just fobbing me off. There's something wrong with my throat and you're just like fobbing me off. And um, he was right. And as soon as I went on to medication, I was I was better. But he, he did send me to CBT classes and um, I was worse when I went to CBT classes. And he did ask me how they went and I was honest with him. And I said, they, they made me worse because... I don't know if anyone that suffered with their mental health has ever been to these classes that the NHS provide. Um, that's if, it, you know, it takes weeks and weeks to even get to that point. You are on a waiting list when you report your mental health to the NHS. You have to wait and wait and wait. Um, but when I went to CBT classes, they um, we sat there in like a room, almost like a alcohol anonymous type of group. But it obviously wasn't that. But it's just the way the layout was. And so many people, they were trying to tell us how to deal with us, these things. And I kind of knew all these things anyway. But people um, would talk about their own problems. And I found that I was leaving, like, the hospital. Because it was, like, um, in not a hospital like the hospital that we go to. It was, like, it's actually a hospital that deal with mental health and stuff where they hold these classes. And I would come away from there panicking because I'd heard about other things that people were panicking about and I was taking their problems on board and then I was thinking about their problems and that was like driving my brain mad but I'd got a lot of pressure on my shoulders at the time because we were going like for you know we were struggling to conceive a baby you know I was in a management position I wasn't getting any time off from work and stuff like that and um and there were a lot of people around us that had passed away around about that time, like young friends that we had got. And then that had played on my mind as well. So I think that what had caused it was loads of drama all going on at once. And um, I was also surrounded by people that were um, difficult people, so to speak. Um, and I said it before and I'll say it again. Um, the best thing that you can do if you're struggling like with your mental health or anything like that is eliminate anyone negative from your life just get rid of them just shut that door on them get get them out because if you if you keep them in your life you'll never improve like you have to have like um a, a very tight bubble around you and um people that are going to look after you and stuff like that and that's that's the um that's what I found as well. I felt like I had to take, um, oh, it's good. Craig's up with something similar. Um, but yeah, you have to, you have to keep like a little tight bubble about, yeah. Do you know what I mean? But my doctor was amazing. I don't think, like, Tim was amazing, but my breakdown got so bad that I was in bed for like three days. I couldn't get out of bed. That's how bad it was. And that's when I knew that I could put a label on that and say, this is a breakdown. Because for me to not be able to get out of bed and function, because I am the, one of the chirpiest people in the world. And I'm not joking. I'm such a bubbly person. Like my character is really like happy-go-lucky. And, you know, I'm just, a, I don't know. I'm just a... I'm not that type of person. So in order to be stuck in bed for three days because I felt like going anywhere out of that safe area might hurt me, I'd got a massive hang up that I was gonna die. And I was, I think like say, because people around me had, so it felt like it was gonna happen to me. Massive, massive hang up about that. I just kept thinking, I'm gonna die. I even went to the doctor saying I'd got a blood clot in my head and he was like, what? And then he was, he didn't well, he was, he understood what I was like. Um, so he was like, you haven't got blood clot in your head. And I was like, no, I, I definitely have. I was on a water park in Benidorm and I hit the water hard when I come off this slight like, rope swing. And I said, and it's caused a blood clot in my head. I've got headaches. And he was like, he did all the tests on me and stuff. And he was like, you, you haven't, you haven't. But I was convinced and I, that is the problem with my mind. It's very, um, 
it's a dangerous mind for sure i can convince myself of anything but i think anybody's mind is i think it's just how in tune with your mind you really are but if you can make yourself be that bad with your mind i think you can definitely make yourself better with your mind as well it's a powerful thing it's quite surreal actually so um anyway i'm going on the mental health tangent here but I'm definitely going to do a Q, not a Q and A, I suppose, but I'm definitely going to do like a live based on mental health because I know for a fact I get a lot of messages from people, and um, because I'm quite open about it, a lot of people do mention it. But anyway, I know that I've gone on a massive tangent about it, but I didn't realise that I brought that sort of comfort to people. Um, but it's really nice to know that I do because people are definitely, definitely not alone and. I just wanted to thank you for your email, Daniel, um, because I could totally empathise with everything you were saying. Um, Miss Dog Lover, thank you so much. I did private one-to-one -one CBT after my brother passed away and found it helpful. It is emotionally exhausting and it gets harder before it gets better. I wonder if doing one-to-one, -one, I wonder if that would like help because... Um, Obviously, mine was group because I suppose on the NHS, they've got to sort everybody out in one hit. But what they don't bypass is the fact that you're you're with other people and you're taking on their stress as well. So it's sort of dragging you down again, not in a horrible way, but you're not when you're in a mentally bad place, you're not in that position to take on everybody else's problems too you need to sort your own head out and you need to be surrounded by all this positiveness because that's the only way you can get back on top form rather than all this negativity and believe me when other people have got their own problems it is negative to hear when you're struggling too you you know it's it's not healthy you need to kind of get up and make yourself strong before you can take on other people's but they don't realize that when they put you in a room full of 20 people that are all going like that and all trembling and are all terrified of like there was one guy who got um well nobody knows who he is it's not like i'm t revealing anything private here but he'd got like um what's is it called ton tonightness or something like not tonightness I don't know what it's called. You know when like someone's got like a clicking or a buzzing in their ear and he's like, I've got this buzzing and this clicking and I just can't get rid of it and everything I do and it's driving me so mad. And there was somebody else who had got vertigo and they felt like the room was spinning all the time. Um, and somebody else was saying that when they drive their car, they freeze when the traffic lights go red and they have to stop the car. They suddenly get really really terrified because they've got to stop and they realize where they are they're in, in control of this vehicle and they've got all this traffic around them and it's really daunting and they were saying they just want to get out and they start having a panic attack and I was like oh my god and all these things are things I've never even thought of before and I'm suddenly going home going I've got a clicking in my ear can I feel a clicking in my ear have I got one too I think I might have one can I hear it you know and I'd start driving myself absolutely mad and they just don't realize at all um so yeah um betsy said i had one to one and it has definitely helped me yeah it is really interesting isn't it yeah i bet one to one can be helpful because it does give you a bit of an understanding about the brain but like I say I, I think with people around you it's difficult um anthony clifford is raising money for showman's mental health who's anthony clifford is that somebody in the chat or am I going, is that somebody who's famous and I just don't know him? <laughs> is that somebody in the chat? Um, Debbie says, I had bad um, anxiety four years ago, work related. I didn't get any help from work, but my best friend, um, my mum helped me. Um, that's nice to know though, Debbie, isn't it? And that's what I was saying about being surrounded by people because like I was really lucky because I had Tim... I don't really know, to be honest with you, how Tim uh, dealt with that. That must have inside drove him mad himself, like dealing with me. I remember he bought me a chocolate cake for my birthday and I was like, I can't eat that chocolate cake because my throat was closing up. And, um, you know, he tried so hard and there were things he just couldn't do. And he'd sit and he'd talk to me and there were just things he just couldn't say. You know what I mean? Like, uh, he, they weren't... He... He, he was saying all the right things, but 
I just weren't getting any better, if that makes sense. And I think he just wanted to make it right. And there's just nothing you can do. Because the only thing that you can do is let time heal. And yeah, okay, I'm on medication. And I don't know what it'd be like without it, to be honest with you. But I always had this agreement with my doctor that if I'm in a comfortable place, just stay where you are. Because apparently your mental health problems are to do with hormones in the brain. And it's like a hormone imbalance, like something that's missing in the brain. And basically, if you're on like a certain medication, then it can put that hormone back where it belongs. And then you can just be yourself. And But there are times when I still stress, like majorly. So it's not like, oh, I don't stress about anything at all. Because I do. Like there are things that really panic me and worry me and that. But just not to that standard anymore. I kind of got a little bit of a grip. and um, I've got some control back. So I'm just gonna touch wood when I say that because I don't want to slip again. But um but yeah I do I do have medication for it. But it obviously if anyone ever goes through anything like that, if you can get through it with like CBT or just having good people around you and like having that strength to kind of get through things on your own then that is incredible if you can do that without tablets because some people don't want to go down the tablet route but there's nothing wrong if you do you know it's all that it's all normal do you know what i mean otherwise you know my doctor wouldn't have said go for it you know um colin capers i am on sertraline and decided to stop and it was awful brain zaps mood swings very bad moods so went back on them oh my god colin right that is so funny you said about brain zaps because um i know somebody who um was in the same situation as that and really struggled with that and i have been in situations where i have not got my prescription in in time and i have been away or something like that and i've not taken medication for say three four days and it's caught up with me and i have felt the same i've gone oh i feel like my brain it sounds stupid to say but i know what you're talking about like that kind of whew, kind of feeling i know that brain's that feeling and um my mood has um really sort of altered slightly as well um but anyway we're going on a complete like mental health situation here um which i definitely definitely want to talk to you guys about 100% but I am gonna save that and park it and I'm gonna um talk about mental health on my um, next live that I do um which I probably will do in May um so bear that in mind guys that we are I will do that because I think it's important I think it's important to talk about it um 100% but anyway guys I know that you've all got an evening to do and I know that my daughter wants me to do some food for her <laughs> so even though she's 19 she'll probably do her own but i think she needs a kitchen so oh, yeah even if i made my own i couldn't do it <laughs> exactly um but i just want to say thank you so so much for giving up your evening and getting involved with the q a um it really does mean a lot all your support is absolutely amazing if you haven't already, please follow me on Instagram so you can keep up with everything that's going on and follow me on my singing page, which is Gabby Starbuck Vocalist Entertainer. Instagram is Gabby Starbuck Vocalist. And if you haven't, <sighs> get it out. If you haven't subscribed to this channel on YouTube yet, then please subscribe because it supports me as much more than you know. Yeah, more than you know. Um, and hit the thumbs up if you haven't already. Um, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you next time i think i'm gonna do my coffee morning maybe saturday morning i'm gonna to speak to tim and see if we can bring it forward but we'll see how it goes i will keep you all in the loop but tomorrow night i'm gonna be uploading my poundland haul so hopefully you will like that um so take care everyone have a nice day and if you're gonna do anything do something positive i'll see you later take care